Novak Djokovic is back on the tennis scene. Uh, he, are you still friends with him? You had contact. Yes. You've been watching him at Roland Garros. We're good friends. We we still uh, are in contact, and uh, obviously he has his things. I have my things, but we follow each other. We see each other's success, and I'm I'm super happy for him because he came back from the injury and he won. So now he is where he belongs, on top of the world, and uh, and winning and getting those trophies he should get. We have the Paris Indoor Tournament now in October and a couple of years ago when you were playing for Paris Saint-Germain, you, uh, you were at the one game, I think it was the semi-final, and you had a chance to play with him a little bit. You didn't look too good playing tennis. Didn't look good. I, I prefer handling the balls with my feet, not with my hands. So I did good. I stayed with my feet on the ground. I didn't use my hands. So. Did a good choice. And he gave a tennis racket to, to your kids as well? Do they play? He tennis? met my kids and they were super impressed by him. And uh, they don't play tennis, they do football and martial arts. So, but they were super happy to meet him. And, uh, and he's a nice guy. I mean, the person you see in TV is the real person also. So, obviously, you have these athletes that one thing on camera, another thing in real. But this person is what he is on TV and in real, and that is what I, what I like with him, because he's funny, he's a good guy, he has positive vibes, and they're easy to, to hang out with. We have the ATP uh, Masters coming up in London, uh, final tournament of the year, and the big question is, who's going to be the world number one at the end of the year, Nadal or Djokovic, what do you think? As a Djokovic fan, I hope for, for Djokovic, and uh, he had a good season year, and, uh, and this is the last one, I believe, before next year starts. So hopefully he can win it and, uh, and we see him as number one again.